Okay. So when you go to your um, respective section, your section is two to one. So when you go there, you have a course content. So in lab manuals, you have to click on lab manuals and then you will have a link. Uh, it's a website where your uh, manuals are stored. Okay. Your uh, assignment one. So since it is lab one, click on the lab one. And then again, you have to click on this lab one calculations. So you'll get okay. the PDF. Okay. This is actually a class activity, but when you scroll down, uh, you have a heading called as putting it all together. So this is actually your assignment questions. The question number one, two, and three are the assignment questions. So that's due on Monday? Yes, it is due on Monday. Okay, and I can turn them in a blackboard, right? Yeah, you can turn in uh, in the Blackboard. You have a link also um, here in the Upload Assignments. Okay. Just click on the assignment uh -huh. and you will have this link where you can click on Browse My Computer and get your files there. Oh, okay. And uh, that should be in PDF, okay? It should not be in .m. It should be in a PDF format or even Word. Word file will also work. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. And then uh, this is an online class, right? Yes, it is online, but only if you are not um, able to access your uh, computers or MATLAB, something like that. If you have some software problem, then you can attend the class. But that should uh, happen only if you make some appointment prior to the class. So if you have your MATLAB in your uh, PC, in your own laptop, then it's good. You cannot change the online thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I download the, the MATLAB. Mm -hmm. And I was having problem with opening it up. So I might have to contact the IT service. Mm -hmm. And then download it. But I was wondering like when we should get the MATLAB done. Oh, give me a minute. Okay. So, the student asked me for my link. Yes, um, go on with your question, Dan. Dan? Yes. Yes, you can, you can go ahead with your question since you joined. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was having a problem with the, the math lab. Mm hmm so when can I, uh, so like what day should I get it done? I don't know. I mean, um, it would be better if you do as soon as possible because, because your assignment is due on Monday, right? Lab one. So, okay. um, and your class is also scheduled at 3.30 PM. So it will be better if you do it on Monday or before Monday, uh, before like three o'clock. Uh -huh. okay. So which, what, what is the error you are seeing with the MATLAB software? Like, uh, it just, like, it just don't want, it just like won't let me open the program. Mm, okay. So are you finding error like license error or something like that? Um, 
<sighs> it just says like my like my username don't match. Oh, okay. So did you contact IT desk about this? No, I actually haven't. You you have to uh, because um. The MATLAB is only for Thomas C. students, and you will have to enter your Islander email. Maybe that is the problem with the software, I guess. So uh, make sure you contact the IT desk. I think they are open on Saturdays and Sundays. So you can mm -hmm. contact them today also. Okay. It's like you just have to contact them. They will uh, get the access remotely to your system, to your computer, and then they will just download, install everything they want. Okay, I'll do that for sure. Yeah. So any any other question? No, that was it for me. Mm -hmm. Isabella, you have a question? The other student. Then, if you do not have any question, like you can leave, or if you want to stay, you can. But do you have any questions regarding the assignment? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Perfect. yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, it seems you, you are speaking, but I cannot hear you. I think you have to unmute in the puppets. Okay, you are having trouble with your mic. Maybe, um, are you using the earphones? Oh, okay. What about the uh, mute button on your keyboard? Is it off? You have to turn it on. Okay, you turned it off, okay. Good. Okay, uh, do one thing, I think you can hear me, so you can post your question in the chat box. You can solve that. No problem. So post whatever question you have so that uh, I can solve it. I did not read your email completely. So it says, so it says that uh, you were from my section and your T has been changed. So you're now in section 201. 
doesn't have it on there. Let me see. Okay, I got it from your old email. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, for the surface area and volume, like I solved it and I did like the equation and everything. I'm just not sure how to input it into MATLAB. Okay. Um, yeah, so let me see. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how to like, because I'm going to assume that the first question has to do with like the substitution and solve, like the SYMS thing. Right. And I, just, I don't know how to like put it um, for the instance of the volume and surface area. So that's kind of what I was struggling with. Okay, so uh, what I will do you is I will not type the exact formula in the MATLAB, but I will okay. do something similar to that. Um, a moment. So I'm going to share my screen. You have a problem with your MATLAB or is it working fine? No, I think everything's fine with it. At first, I was, I didn't even know if I downloaded it right, but our first lab mm -hmm. really did help. Um, oh. Yeah, I was, I was confused if I got the right version or not, but I got the 2020 version. Okay. Okay, so um, I'll just go ahead and type, um, let me see the volume of the cylinder, okay? Okay. But it should be in the text mode. So whenever you are in text mode, then enter. And get back to the code mode. So let me see, I will see it as V. So volume of a cylinder is what? I ask you. Yes, the pi R two H. It's pi R squared H. Oh, pi R. Yeah. Pi, pi R, R squared H. H. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So volume of a cylinder is pi R squared H. So what I'm going to do is, it's pi, so P I into i hope you know this symbol how to type this multiplication symbol yes okay and then i'm going to type r and then since it is square mm -hmm. i will put this cap symbol that is the symbol for the 
uh, anything which you put on par for an exponential the so that's a symbol so if you say r cube then r cap q r to the power of 4 r cap 4 okay? okay so likewise we use that then r square into h so into multiplication symbol and then h so this is how you type input in the matlab pi r square h so any okay. other equation do you want me to plug in um i guess the surface area one as well the if i have it right I, it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h very good it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h actually uh, the <laughs> video is getting recorded so i guess most of the students will get the answer now no problem <laughs> So, uh, what is surface area? Yeah. pi into R H plus into pi. R square. Done? So this okay. is input in the math lab. Okay. Um, let us run yeah. it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to define the variable V and then define the variable X. So let me give a value for r and h. Let's say r is equal to 2 and h is equal to 3. So let us go. Do we have to put the little semicolon after the value? Okay. So here I was not using that. So we get h is equal to three in the output. But what we okay. need in the output is just the direct answer. Right? So that is why I use the same column here. So it says that unrecognized function or variable pi, it's because I used a capital letter P. Okay. Okay. So, and then once we um, define the terms, we don't have to necessarily plug it into the equation for MATLAB, right? It'll do it for us? Yes, it will do it for us. Okay. And put the values for the unknown, unknown variables and then just run the program. So, you got the answer here. So what happens okay. when I don't put the sign column in this? Okay. Um, okay, so that was all the question for the so first. When I don't put the semicolon in the code, you will get this R and H. So it, it kind of confuse you, like what is the result? So what I used is a semicolon so that you will not get the statement in the output section. That's it. But you are not okay. supposed to use it here because it's the actual formula and you need a result for this. So if you use it here, what happens is the program will be run, but you will not get the result of the output. So make sure you don't use the semicolon for the formula. Okay. Okay, yeah. um, okay. that's all the question I had for the first one. Um, for number two, just real quick, mm -hmm. 
I tried that one on my own. Let me open it up. Okay. Yes. So I put in the random number generator, which is the RNG. Right. And then I put parentheses for numbers that like represent my birthday. And mm -hmm. then I put the, let me see, the ME equals mm -hmm. nearest, yes. right? Yeah, okay. Okay. And then for the parentheses numbers, or is there supposed to be something that goes after the and? What what do we put there? We don't put anything here. We just it's okay. just empty parentheses. Oh, okay. And then where does that equation come into play? Where do we put that equation? So this is actually like this. Yes. The way you wrote your name was really pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My sister was playing with this and she didn't <laughs> answer <this. laughs> Okay. So um actually it's like this. You have an equation like say two minus six. Or let's take like let's not take the unknown variables. Okay. So whatever you get, the solution, whatever you get, um assume that it's in a decimal format. Let's say it is uh, thirteen point six three five six like that but mm -hmm. i am seeing that i need a very short answer like okay so what i'm doing is i'm just rounding it off so it becomes six so i'm kind of rounding. values from six so i'm just mm -hmm. drink the first three digits by rounding off the next value. So I know that I have to round it off to three or eight because I assumed it. But the question which is asked in the assignment is asking you to calculate that number, the nearest integer number. So for example, say you get me is equal to four, means that you have to round off the digits till 4 or till 3 or till 2. So you need an equation for that, right? You have a yeah. value to which you have to round it off. But you need an equation to get dimension. This equation is nothing bad. So when you solve this um, negative four, this mm -hmm. equation, you get some solution and mm -hmm. it could be in a long decimal format. You need to chop it on. I mean, you need to round it on. So to how many digits will you round it on? So mm -hmm. decimal places will be, you will be finding that decimal places using this nearest 200 rand. We, using that value, you'll find out the answer. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just still a little confused. <laughs> Can I use this? Yeah, just like okay. so in MATLAB, we would type in the random number generator, parentheses, the number, 
And then after we put the ME nearest and 200 times R times in parentheses, do I put the equation under yes. that? Okay. Yes. You have to okay. plug in the equation and then you will have to use the decimal places to this equation. Okay. I am not going to see how that is done. Okay. okay so you have to find it out. Okay. So I can give you a hint, like um, which uh, command is used to round it, uh, round off a number or, you know, um, just to put a long decimal format into short one, which command do we use in my plan? I believe it's uh, VPA. Exactly. So okay. that's the command you have to use here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that helped a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, I think that's that's about it. Um, with my questions regarding like our assignment, it's due this coming Wednesday. Yeah. So you are okay. from Wednesday batch, right? I'm sorry? You are from the Wednesday batch? Yes, I'm from the Wednesday at 3.30. Oh, okay. Then that will be due on Wednesday. Okay, cool. But we we oh, still cool. have to figure out who is your team. <laughs> I know. I hope that is fixed because, like, I woke up this morning because I knew that we had, you know, scheduled uh -huh. a meeting. And then I went to, like, your announcements because I knew that you had posted your link there. And I went and it was not there. And I was like, what's happening? Um, but, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I was, like, wondering why is she asking me the link because she already has it. So then I got to know. Then I read the complete email. Yeah. <laughs> Even um, I was searching yeah. for my own WebEx link. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I, I just, like, searched you up on my emails, and mm -hmm. then I found it. Thank God. So, right. yeah. I hope it gets fixed and everything. I, I don't mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm the only one that has that, or is there a whole section that has that right now? But um, um, Are you in the Microsoft Teams? Um. Yeah, I have a mic. I have a HP. I mean, no, I'm asking about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. I mean, that. Yeah. Okay. Let me put that question in the group and let's see how many will answer that. Okay. Hmm.